Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Automation Empire. Uh, so I've been doing a little bit of work here, trying to streamline things a little bit more. Uh, needless to say, we were having issues getting coal here. I forgot to put minecarts on this track here, and then uh, uh, these long, tr long lines going over here. I had a few more cars to them. And then I tried to shorten the trip between these two buildings the best I could on both lines because the combiners just are just chewing through it so fast. And this is about as fast as I can get the coal to actually go through here unless I just do like a bit of a loop going here. But that's fine because we are actually getting some steel surplus where we got all these completely filled up. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe... Uh, since we're getting research, we do need to spend a lot of research to get the oil derrick eventually. But I could either start spending some research on train times, which we could do, but it's not that important because we can always get more stuff processed. Like today, we're going to get into some gold fuel and carbon. Uh, carbon should be a really easy one. It's just you refine coal into refined coal, and then you run the coal through a ref another refiner with a building with, I'm sorry, a building that has water power, that's water connected, and then it'll turn that coal into carbon, and then the carbon actually has, where is it here, slightly heavier than coal, but the gold fuel is about the same as the steel, and it's also a pretty good price compared to the steel, because we've been doing so much steel, the value has gone down, but the carbon is another one we can do. Uh, this will also help expand the train network a little bit because I was thinking about this and I was, if I were to place an entrance here I'll be able to place another one right here then once I'm over there then I don't, know, no, don't even know if you can place one coming out of water I've never actually tried that but we will do that so there's gonna be one here for the gold fuel there's gonna be one over here for the carbon. So I've got gold here. We got all this coal over here that I was researching, and it is coming in handy. There's still another node there I can tap into if I need to. I uh, have been collecting some, as you can see, I do have about 427, but we have a fair bit here. Let's see, what we got we got almost 80. So I'm gonna wait till it hits 100, and then we got a little bit of gold here. We can take for the research so it's not a big deal but we have all this coal here we can make use of <sighs> now how do I want to do this you see we have all this oil which we can't even use right now so what I might do is I might actually get all this coal being brought over to here to another factory and in the same factory we'll do not only the gold fuel but we'll do the, the carbon as well because this gold's not going anywhere this is just going over over to here to get refined into researchables so that's fine as long as we have enough going through here that's all that really matters what are we missing I don't know those guys are still taking the coal or the gold uh, okay drone priority off and what are you you are your coal as well I do believe yeah coal and the other one is the gold. Okay, actually, how are we doing for coal? We're doing fine. All right, that's. We'll let that be. I'll let that do its thing, and then we'll head back over here and check on this. It's like a fine balance. It's just barely keeping up. And if I were to speed up the trains or even get one more car on the trains, then I'll probably end up losing the steel. But as long as that keeps going, that's good. And look at that, those numbers were just over 23,000. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here. Uh, we're probably gonna cut, break this here because I don't think we really need any more as long as we can get the 100 research. That's all, we really, all that really matters. We do have a few crates going through, so yeah, it should be fine. Chicken numbers. Oh yeah, we got enough. We have enough. We got a whole bunch of stuff on the line there. We got stuff ready to be picked up. So yeah. And with that, we're gonna lose this as our main research site, but we can start researching oil. So that's actually no, we can't. 
as the research oil, we need 2 million research points. How fun. So I'm wondering if maybe we should start researching the gold fuel instead, instead of sending it out. We might have to do that. Anyway, uh, let's see what we can do for a factory here. Well, let's go for the biggest one. I'm not paying taxes in this playthrough. Uh, the next one probably will. So we'll just make the biggest factory we can. And it will not go there. Then we'll do it over here. I'm doing it over here just to keep it close to the trains. And I'm going to have a rail line here. And there's going to be another one here. Hmm. I guess it doesn't really need to be that big either. Actually, I can put it right here because we can take out the rail. Because we don't need this anymore. Anyway, uh, let me get some rails out and a factory down, and I will be right back. Okay, so I decided to put it over here, and this should work. And while we're at it, we'll also start getting our entrances placed in, so we can figure out where we're going. Okay, we'll place one there. Really? What? Oh, it's actually not in proximity. Then why was I thinking that it was? I have no idea. It should technically be in proximity. Unless both lines have to overlap each other. And I think that's what it is. Hmm. Well... Could always have another steel line, I guess. I don't know, we'll leave that there for now. I'll pay the f I'll pay the f uh, whatchamacallits. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, oh, what's the word for it? What's the word I'm thinking for? Uh, hydro bill, yes. Even though it's not actually connected, I don't think it gets power, but I don't think we pay anything if we don't use it. But, yeah, I guess... I guess I'll have to do one there. And I still can't place it here. I'm so good at wasting money, I know. Okay, we'll do that then. So then this train can actually come out and can go right across the water. Just like so. Oh yeah, I can only place build in so many certain sections. Maybe bring it closer this way. And you don't want to do that. Oh yeah, because I have to put an actual exit there. You won't go there, will you? Hmm. It must be built in the cliffside, I know. Really? Hmm. I won't go here anywhere. That's... Well, that's lame. Hmm. It's going to take longer to leave. I don't like that. Can't build it anywhere else. Well, I guess... The only place we can actually put the train exit is over there. More over here. It's kind of stupid. Or we can go over here. That might work. Then I'll have the train come down this way, maybe. Kind of a waste, though. Let me see if I can rotate that. See if we can make it a little bit better. <laughs> no. No. Doesn't want to work. Don't have to do that, then. See what the rail wants to do. Wants to do that. Hmm. We might have a dilemma. Oh. It could be one awkward rail line, but I think it's going to work. Let's see if it connects. 
Let's actually come down this way. Yeah. Hmm. Curse these tight corners. Oh well. We'll just have to do something different with this. Not a problem. Where there's a will, there's a way. And if it doesn't work, make it work. Okay. So we have that. So I guess I can get rid of these rails here because they're kind of useless to me. Uh, I'm not going to hook up these yet until I have actually something to send over there. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if I should move the factory over here. Reason being is because I'm going to have be making gold fuel and you'll be making carbon. So it'd be smart to have one train line for each. I got two over here I'm not actually using. So if I put the factory over here, maybe a longer factory, you can have the carbon coming out one side or gold fuel out one side, carbon coming out the other. And that might be the smart idea. Let's actually do that. Demolish that. Yes. I hope I got my money back for that. I don't really care. I have so much. So can we go all the way down? It's going to let us go to there. But that kind of works. Okay, we'll do that. We can get our full-size factory. Perfect. And then we have easy access to load this train up. And then... I would say it'd be more smart to load the gold fuel up on this line here because it's closer to the factory and then have the carbon on this end. I'd like to make sure I use both rail lines if I can. Hmm. What should we do here? Let me pause for a second and think about it. Okay, I decided to do that. Now the question is... This is actually going to connect. And I think it will with enough of these. So we can always get something over there. In fact, take these out and come back the other way. So I've got to put four of those S tracks or whatever they're called. One, two, three, oh, four. Nope, I should have, shouldn't have right clicked because I still gotta do that. Get some power. Let's see if we can sneak a telephone pole in here somewhere. Okay, we don't need to worry about that one. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that. Connect this one to the grid. Are you serious? Oh well. When when am I when don't I waste money? Okay, so now we gotta get all these into one juncture. Collection point, whatever. So let me do that. Uh, get this all hooked up and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's what I got. So I got all five of them hooked up together. All four of these are feeding into this one tank here. Uh, this one, of course, minecart going all the way, and we have uh, water. So that is our coal situation. I'll have to do some about the research eventually. Uh, I got some water onto the gold system as well, so we are good at there. Now all, we, all I have to do is bring it into here. All right. So first, first let's just actually go and get all this coal because we are going to need this. Let's get rid of you because we don't need you there. Make sure that's going the right way. Perfect. Okay, let me dump this out. Uh, another thing I was trying to do too is I was trying to actually use two of these together to try to do alternate cars, but it just doesn't work. They don't quite line up properly. It's like uh, on like about that much of a gap, as close as you can get them to line up over the cars, 
it's like a few pixels off so it'll do this one and then I'll move a couple of pixels and then move to the second one so yeah we're kind of limited to load and unload speeds but yeah that is that so let me go ahead and take our, our minecart track here go like so and we'll just bring it all the way down here actually I should be going elevated on this but you get the idea let me do this and I shall return Okay, so I have uh, everything coming to the factory now. So uh, there was also an issue I noticed too. Uh, I won't place, be able to place silos beside the building, which is fine because, uh, as it was mentioned and something I already knew, if I place silos over here, even though they're not actually connected, they'll still register in the train. And for the silo on this, I'm just going to have one silo, and it's going to be fed with a tank. In fact. Actually, we'll just leave that one there. That's fine. Uh, it's just going to be fed with a tank going through like so. We'll get a nice big tank on there. Maybe even a couple just because. Just because we can. That's going the wrong way. It'd be nice if we could actually rotate parts. Like so. So that's going to be our fueling supply. Let's get... Uh, Couple of silos over here. I know, I know, building the train before I build the machines. Five. Yeah, let's go one more. Just because. Okay. Uh, I'm not worried about the tracks because I can always come out here with the train and go, the minecart go over here. Alright, and I'm realizing this is actually a lot bigger than I need. So, anyways. Uh, how shall I do this? I'm thinking the factory is too big, especially if I want to be using uh, co colored connectors. Because I have the gold coming in, and it gets processed into refined gold. Coal coming in, refined coal. You know what? I think we'll be okay. Let's use the connectors for the outputs. Oh, that's not a minecart track. Yeah, bring you in and just like so let's get uh, a couple of intakes here we'll do one here one here and let's see of course gold will be gold and coal will be blue like we've done before actually no that's gonna be the refined version of it uh, we need a tank a couple of tanks actually one there, one there, indig, indig, and I'm actually thinking I might need more room now, especially if I want to be getting a bunch of refiners off here, but I don't have as much coming through as I did the other place. Uh, let me configure this a little bit. Okay, so that gives me a little bit more room to work with. Uh, so, I guess I'll do the same thing, try to get a uh, couple of crater, crate makers and a uh, couple of refineries. I don't know how long it takes to refine gold, but I'm sure I'm going to need a few on the... And, uh, do, do, do. <laughs> I'll come up with the word for it in a minute. Uh, the carbon line, yes. Alright, uh, let's see here. Actually cheat. Let's go over here and see what I did on this side. Uh, a bad example. There we go. That's a bad example too. I'm wondering how many I'll need. Uh, six. I guess we'll try to go nine refiners, refiners on each, maybe twelve on the coal. Okay, so we do uh, this. In fact, I wonder if I should do that. Actually, no, the coal's going to be on this side. Is that going to be enough? So if I do this, not that, or that, but. 
You know what I'm talking to do this. Then I only get two off of each one. In the space that they have. And even not two. Hmm. Let me come up with something, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I got. Uh, I got obviously more on the coal side than I do on the gold side, but that's that's fine. That's exactly what I want. So now we got to get our intakes put in. Uh, so we'll take this one, put one there, one there. Might as well do them all, but I just got to make sure that I don't have them all in the same connector. Yes, that would be bad. And I just had to keep these separated because I didn't have much room. So this is going to gold, like so. Don't mind the lag spike, nothing new around here. Okay, that's gold. And then we go into blue, there. Now this should actually work out pretty good because uh, the coal gets refined a lot faster than the gold, as far as I know. So we should be good. So those are all going in. I got all the uh, transfer clause all set up. Uh, the conveyors should. Yes. Oh, these should be destroy all crates, just to avoid any anything slipping through and not getting sucked up. Okay, that that side, and then we go over here do the same thing. On. On. Okay. Now. Now we get a storage facility, uh, storage setup for this. Hmm. Let's see where should I put it? Just doesn't really matter. I can just pl place them over here. And I don't think we really need double storage. It's 120 crates worth. So I'm just gonna do this, one of each, and then we'll have one yellow one blue and one green okay so now we first gotta get power into this place i had to build another power plant and i had a feeling i'm gonna have to build another one now this is the only thing that I really don't like is the fact that you actually have to connect to the actual corner oh, I had enough power wow how's the grid doing holding up Okay, and what's next? Okay, so we have that. Those are all going. Uh, I do have to get water to the building. I just happen to have a water pump right, or water tank right here. And I'm too lazy to put pipes around, so I'm just going to drop another water tank somewhere. There. I'm lazy. There we go. We have water. Okay, so that is that. That is all set up. Uh, do have to get more minecarts on here. We're not fired up yet. Just gotta make sure everything's ready to go and in place. And here, hmm. Four should do. And make sure I have enough room over here for this very long minecart drain. Uh, I have no idea how long 20 cars are, so we'll just do that for now. Okay, next. Oh yeah, we still gotta get... Okay, I gotta remember... The carbon was going over there. So maybe... Well, let's actually start getting everything set up first. All right, so that's going to be gold, that's going to be coal, that's going to be carbon. So all I really have to do... Oh, yeah, there's gold fuel, too. Hmm. Maybe we'll save the green for gold fuel. So that way we get the, uh, the combiners going right into that. Okay, let's see here. I have no idea how many I need, but let's place a few anyways. One, two, actually, let's do it the other way. Let's save space, not that we really need it. 
get two blocks base and offset one. Uh, we'll just put eight in here for now, I guess. We can always build more. I'm so rich right now. Not in real life, in a game. If only life was a video game, nobody would have to work. We'd all be rich. There we go. Okay, transfer pipes, please. Do, 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 do. And flip around. Do, 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 do. Oops. Now, my biggest worry is that uh, the coal is not going to hold up. We're going to be chewing through a lot of it. I have a feeling, oh yeah, outputs. Oh, wrong spot. <laughs> and, yeah, that's that one. Okay, connector time. Yellow. See here, yeah, we'll go on this side, like so, and then blue. And of course, green in a moment. So that is that taken care of. Now all we gotta do is get a uh, couple of refiners going for uh, da, 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 carbon. And I said carbon was gonna go on this line here, so let's actually put the carbon production over here. And this doesn't have to be much, it just has to be basically a crate maker going into three refiners. And we're not gonna do too much of it. Uh, what am I looking for here? that thing and gonna have to go in a tank afterwards to just do that one of those going in no nope. we're not gonna be we're not gonna be trying to refine uh, gold fuel no All right. yes blue is coal okay Let me flip around here and Get some conveyor action going. I like to, I like to give the claws a, a one block space just for whatever reason. That's why you always see uh, like two here and then two here instead of just being like one, one, one. And that's because the the crates actually need a one block gap on the conveyors. So I figured if I did it that way be less backups. Okay, refiners. Now this is the first time I've made the carbon. Uh, when the carbon first came out there was a, a bit of an issue where everybody's coal turned to carbon. And they, uh, they messed up a recipe or something. Okay, so this one skips every two. This one skips every one. And we go back down here. And we take you. We come down to here. You to there, you to there, and that, that, unload station, set to destroy everything, including the world, and we will take Did I think this through? Of course I didn't. No, we're going to have to do this differently. Do that. And then an unload station. Because I'm not going into a remote connector. I'm going into a tank with this. If I have a space for it. Do I have room down here? I will if I move those kind of barriers. I don't, don't really need that extra block gap here. I'm gonna take it and swing it like so and put the unload station at the end. Uh, destroy everything, thank you. 
All right, I don't have to worry about setting up those. And we'll get our big old tank and. Hmm. Yeah, because I also want to have it lined up with a door too. Right there should be lined up, right? It is perfect. Because uh, uh, the minecarts will only go, the minecart track will only go through the center center of the grid. So that's why I do it that way. Okay, let me put one of those there, and I think we are. I think we're ready to rock and roll. The only thing that's left to do is get a train set up to bring all this stuff out to here. Okay, so we will take an intake on this one. And then a minecart track. Actually, I'm going to need to put another door in here too, somewhere. Yes, the factory is bigger than it needed to be, but whatever. We'll make use of the space later. Okay, like so, and like uh, so, and I think that's about it, really. Okay, and then we dump out of the green bin. Yes. Okay, that is done. Let's get a few more tracks on here. Actually, we. Get some more minecart tracks on there. Probably more than I need, but whatever. I think we'll put six for now. And then I gotta put a door on this side. And a door, please. Okay, and I'm just gonna get this uh, a silo over here. Oh, that's not a silo. That's a silo. Oh, that big boom. You drop it. Okay, and... That right spot. Oh, what do you know it is? It's almost like I know what I'm doing. I know I use that joke a lot. But it's true. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Yeah, we'll just double up this tank. Like so, we will take an intake on this side. Take a minecart track, go up to there, and go here. And now I have a question. Since I've already built this here, can I delete this one? It's a good question. I wonder if we could break the game that way. Or exploit the game. We'll find out in a second here. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna pop I'm gonna save and exit to the menu and just do a backup first and then I'll we'll test this theory. Okay, I'm back. So now let's test this. It'll let me sell it. Oh, what do you know? You can cheat. You can have your rail connections spread out. Aha, it's counting it too. Cool. And it's can be it's, it's exploitable because you get your full refund when you sell stuff. So I could have these rails here. I could place one here, place one here, place one here, place one here, place one over here, and then delete the rest. And I can just continue building off of here. Cool. I'll have to remember that. Okay, so we have this set up. Let's get uh, some more silos on here because I think we are ready to rock and roll here. Actually, no, we're not. Actually, yeah, we are. Carbon should be set up. Oh, all over the place today. Uh, yes, carbon is going through. Our set up. Gold fuel is set up. And uh, gold fuel is set up to go out. We have silos on that track we have silos on this track oh that's actually what we need need minecarts on this we'll go six just because we can and there was something else I was going to do oh yeah we're going to get more research going hmm 
We'll have to figure something out. We are going to get some out of here for sure. Uh, maybe what I can do is... Oh, I won't be switching it back over to steel. But it looks like we will be getting some more gold fuel out of here. So I'm going to turn that off for now because that was the coal line. Yeah, we still have some coal in there. And Finer still has coal. Okay. That's fine. No, it actually has some in the, the hopper there. Minecart. Whatever. Okay, are we ready to go? I think we are. Uh, Minecarts, miners, mining rigs, I should say. Coal. And then we have water and power to the building. Get coal, iron. All right, let's see if I did something wrong. Whoa. Uh, that was some lag. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a shame there is no fast forward on this game. It'd be nice if you could speed things up. Alright, first gold's coming in. Nice. Track was just long enough for that. That is nice. We gotta wait for this coal to come all the way back. I gotta make sure that's gonna be long enough too. I think I'm gonna need more track. It's the freight liner on minecarts. <laughs> oh my god. Minecraft, eat your heart out. Alright, that's gonna take a minute to get that come down here. And let's see how our supply is doing. Okay. Uh, gold is not going to be showing up in the tanks until these fill up. And I was looking at that, I was like, why is, why is it not showing up? And then that's right, this all has to process. Okay, here comes the first load of coal. Which is going to get us our first load of carbon. Eventually. Coal coming in. Refined coal coming out in a second or two. At least it better be coal, not carbon this time. Okay, it is coal. You can sort of tell the difference. Because if you look at the coal, it has... Actually looks like coal. Oh! Hitting that space button again. Good thing it doesn't actually do anything <laughs> seriously wrong. And then we'll wait for the first load of carbon to come out of here as soon as it grabs it. It's going to take a little bit because of course these all have to fill up. Yeah. I gotta wait for that minecart to come back. I did load it up, did I not? Give it max cars, I did. Oh, here it comes. And look at that, we have gold fuel. It does not look yummy. Not much gold fuel, but we have gold fuel. Oh, it's in the train already. Oh, oh look at that, it's loading up. Now, where is this carbon, damn it? Miners are eating it up, is what it is. Hmm. I'm sure they'll get to it eventually. So I'm going to let this run for a few minutes and I'll bring you back. Oh, well, that's why I'm not getting enough coal. <laughs> the train's falling short. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Alright, uh, let's let this guy get out of the way first. Okay, pause that. I'm going to also reverse this one too. But let's get this off of here. And I was trying to figure out why, oh my god, like, 
serious that's not enough coal and then i just then i was like look and i was like wait a minute and i certainly can't get by with four minecarts a trip then we'll just bring it over to the end why not okay you come back here sorry about the jump yeah i hit shift when i scrolled back just in time for a lag spike okay now you're going to be loading up. Now, hopefully, we start seeing some some coal coming out of here. Oh, not quite long enough. It's okay. I'm going to let that one go. He'll be back. They always come back. Wow, I'm like all over the place. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna let this go and I'll be right back. I think I broke the trains. The countdown timer's not moving on any of them. Even these. Trains nowhere in sight. So I think I did a boo boo. Let's place that right back there. <laughs> I tried. I tried, but hey, I'm sure that's half the reason why people watch me is it's just so they could say, don't do what BC does. Alright, so now we should get some trains rolling. Yeah, look at that, we lost so much production because of that. Oh god, I don't even know how long it was going for like that. But we have a good stockpile of gold fuel, which is good because if that fills up and that maybe we'll actually start getting some carbon in the system. Still nothing. Anyway, I'll be back. Oh, here's the first train picking up the gold fuel. Sadly, the first train for the carbon showed up too, and there's no carbon to be picked up. Not yet, anyways. Uh, we might have to up, up the refining on the coal side by the looks of it. Or cut down the combiners. I might actually end up doing that. Because we're getting quite a bit of gold fuel here. I think we got massive amounts of tanks so let's actually do that just because I want carbon okay and look at all that <laughs> there we go there's real black gold oh god they even have an animation for that I don't know what that looks like. Almost looks like an oil paint or something. Cool. Oh, 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 oh. We're getting carbon. Oh, jeez. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The world decided to go all over the place on me. There we go. So you can see the, the carbon itself looks almost like a... more like gritty compared to the actual coal, right? The coal is larger chunks. The carbon is like, almost like black sand. So that is good. And we're actually picking up now. Sweet. So our train's actually gonna be picking up some coal, or uh, carbon. But this guy, could be a big money maker. And hopefully a big weight producer too, because, uh, We've been down for a while. <laughs> Steel's just backing up. Look at that. Uh, but wait till these trains go by. Just watch the, the list of green go by. And you're going away empty, are you? Such a shame. But look at that. I love watching these trains go out. I'll be doing something. I'll see all this green flash across the screen. It's like, oh yeah, there goes the trains. And this one. We should be going with a full load of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 cars of gold fuel. Which is good, except, like I said, it's always about time. It always takes so long for it to go through, but this should be a hefty amount of weight. We got each car is adding about 200 kilos. That's actually pretty good. 
And that's the same with the steel too. If you look at the weight of the steel, the steel plates and the gold fuel are the same. So every car, that, every five cars that goes out, it's a, it's a ton. It's a thousand kilos. So yeah, now that we are rolling, I'm gonna let this go for a little bit. We're actually gonna have a, a train load of carbon go out. That is very nice. Yes. So yeah, I shall return when I got some better numbers to show. All right. Uh, Still going along, I thought I'd come over here and check on our research. We have full, two full things of research for the gold fuel. And we've left the gold, I cleared up the coal. So we're about halfway. Uh, I do actually have a, enough of the gold fuel researched. We have the weight. We just need that research, those research points. So yeah, the coal's holding up. Uh, that's another train going out. The numbers still haven't caught up just because we did so bad, but I think we might actually hit the 30 grand this month just because we're getting the carbon and the gold fuel going out. That's two extra trains. Um, I noticed this train had left when there was still stuff loaded in the hopper and maybe, maybe the trains as they, they're scheduled to enter, they already have determined what they're picking up if more gets added into the silos maybe they don't pick it up until the next run so i think i gotta think of which doesn't matter because that's still 46 grand right that's still some weight anyway i shall return okay i'm back about to realize we're running quite long on this but look at this twenty-five thousand. we have one train going out uh, no more going out but we we might make it. We might. We will see. It's just a matter of seeing what this train will do. Uh, nine, that's 1,800. Okay. Uh, sadly, these trains aren't going to be showing up. Not those ones anyways. Uh, oh, this will be coming. He's got some carbon to pick up. Let's see if we can actually make it. I get it'd be nice if there was a fast forward button, but there isn't. Not unless those... Those trucks aren't going anywhere. Oh well. Or those trucks. Yes, I really should get rid of those roads, but I don't care. Uh, also thinking about possibly getting another refiner on on here. More, more refiners on here because we're getting quite a bit of gold, coal buildup because the gold isn't holding up. Sorry. Uh, basically tapping, tapping, it, tapping it for what it's worth. Two cars of carbon going out. A train of gold fuel and it's not gonna make the month oh so close come on 25,360 oh not quite but we have a, a higher starting month so uh, I'll bring you back okay well we haven't hit it yet uh, what I have done is I added three more refiners down onto the carbon line to get some more carbon going. We actually might have a fair bit going out in this train here. Uh, the, the month is almost over. Uh, steel just went out, but we have four more on the way. Gold's loading up. So this might, uh, next month might actually be the month. Or, wait for it, wait for it. This month, starting at 17,000. So I'm gonna let this run and we'll see if we can make those numbers. Uh, I've also been thinking about the research too uh, because I have to leave these research bays here or I take get rid of all of them to move them somewhere else. I might leave them here because there is gold over here and there's iron over here that I can uh, I can just start using for research purposes if I need to. Uh, I could realistically make gold plates if I wanted. Gold plates actually sell pretty good but uh, steel plates and gold, refined gold, so it's a bit of work to get that. But anyways, let's see how those numbers are doing. And they are there. So I shall be I shall be back. Okay, I think this is going to be it. Uh, I had to spend all my research to get a few upgrades for the trains, cutting down to 15 seconds. Added two more silos on each line. Except for the carbon line, because we're not producing that much carbon, but extra two there, extra two there, two there, two there, two there. We're 27,000, we got two trains going out, a carbon train loading up, and 
it's gonna push us over the 30,000. Finally. All right, just one more car on that one. Two more cars there, and I think those two trains will push us over the limit. Actually, that one might do it right there. And it's been getting about, average about 200 kilos per car train. And, come on, the carbon's going to do it. 30,000, haha. Continue playing. Now let's see. Oh, we'll continue playing. All right, so what's the next one? 45,000. Not a problem. Not a problem because we still got lots more to do. I do have to get some research going between now and the next episode. I realize we're going quite long on this, but eh, we got a lot done. We got gold fuel being produced and exported. We have carbon being produced and exported. I'm going to have to get a whole bunch of refining done on that. Uh, but next episode, we're going to get into and the oil. I just got to get the research points up and we'll continue on from there. But anyways, I uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, see you in the next one. Later.